Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. Today, as promised, is double leg stretch. So a few things to remember about double leg stretch. You wanna create opposition in all of your exercises and you do that by really maintaining your scoop, your connection through your shoulder girdle all the way down to your pelvic floor and you connect your pelvic floor all the way up to the shoulder girdle. You're gonna create the opposition by keeping that connection nice and strong and really intentionally stretching through your fingers and your toes. You want to make sure that you lengthen as much as you can without popping the connection. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So you're going to start just like you did yesterday in tabletop position. You want to really engage the scoop. So what I do with my students is I have them put their fingers on the mat and kind of walk them down so that they feel their armpits and their ribs really connected. Your tailbone is on the mat. You're going to bring your knees in, hands are going to go outside your shins. If you're just starting, arms and legs go to the ceiling and you're really trying to touch the ceiling as you pull your ribs, your belly, and your pelvic floor down. And you exhale, pull in. You're going to inhale out to 45 if you're a little bit stronger and exhale, pull in. Be careful as you reach back that you don't fall back. You need to stay lifted in your scoop. Keep your shoulders down as your arms stretch. And if you want to get a little bit more challenge, you can go a little lower with the legs. Make sure the breath moves the movement and stay nice and balanced in your scoop. You're going to do about six of those. And then when you're done, you can try um, combining single, ugh, sorry, single leg stretch with double leg stretch. Tomorrow we're going to go over single straight leg stretch for Wednesday. So if you have any questions or concerns, you can give me a call or check out my page and message me. All right, have a great rest of your Tuesday, everyone.